In this tutorial, I will be showing the students at the Tigerberg campus of Stellenbosch University who have Android-based tablets how to connect to the campus's BYOD network. BYOD is an acronym for Bring Your Own Device. Simply put, this is a new way by which students can use their own devices, such as laptops and tablets, to access the university network and services such as SunLearn and podcasts. For this tutorial, we will be using a cheap 10-inch Android tablet made by Mesa. This tablet runs Android KitKat 4.4. This tutorial will also work for any 10-inch Android-based tablet running Android Honeycomb or better. The BYOD system also supports Windows laptops, Apple MacBooks and iPads. In order to set up your Android tablet to connect to the BYOD wireless network, you will have to be either in Gerge itself or in the corridors outside Gerge and the medical library. To connect to the wireless network, switch on your tablet. If you have 3G on your tablet, deactivate your cellular data before connecting to the BYOD wireless network. Once you have deactivated 3G, go to your tablet settings and locate the Wi-Fi item in the wireless and network settings. All the available wireless networks that your tablet can detect will be listed. The network that you will be connecting to is Gerge BYOD. Select Gerge BYOD from the list. After a few moments, you will be connected to the Wi-Fi network. The word connected will appear below Gerge BYOD and the Wi-Fi icon on the top status bar will indicate that the tablet is connected. This completes the first step. Once you are connected, you can now open up an internet browser such as Firefox or Google Chrome or whatever is installed on your tablet. Once the browser is open, go to any website or address. It doesn't matter which one. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will go to google.co.za. As you can see, you will be automatically sent to the Gerge Network landing page. Click on the link just below the grey welcome bar that says please click here to connect to the Gerge network. After a few moments, this page will appear. Fill in all the required details. Put a check in the I agree to the acceptable use policy box and then click on the Complete Registration button. The registration process will complete after a few moments. Your Android tablet is now registered on the Gerge network. This completes the second step. Once the registration of your device is successful, you will be taken to the Gerge Wi-Fi site. Here, owners of Windows Notebooks and Apple Laptops can download and install the appropriate Citrix Receiver Client for their devices. These clients, once installed, will allow you to connect to the virtual desktops that have all the necessary programs and services that you will require for your studies at Tigerberg Campus. Unfortunately, because you have an Android tablet, you will have to use your 3G connection or connect in some other way to the internet and download the Citrix Receiver Client from the Google Play Store. Installing the Citrix Receiver Client from the Google Play Store is a simple process. Open up the Play Store on your tablet. In the top search bar, type in Citrix Receiver. It will appear as the first item in the search results. Click on the item and on the app's homepage, click on the green install button. Click on the accept button of the access warning pop-up. After a couple of minutes, the Citrix receiver client will be installed on your tablet and an icon will be placed on your home screen. Select and click on the Citrix receiver icon to start the app. Click on the Add Account button and fill in the following in the address field. https colon forward slash forward slash 
stbcitrix.sun.ac.za. Tap on the next button. A login window will appear after a few seconds. Enter your username, which is your student number, and your network password. Type in STB in the domain field. Tap on the done key or the log on button. In the select account pop-up, select Humacher. At this stage of the installation, you might get an error message about an unexpected response. There is a bug in the Citrix system that currently affects Android tablets. We will show you shortly how to work around this error and to access the virtual desktops. The Citrix receiver client has been successfully installed on your tablet and this completes the third step. You will have to connect to the Gerge BYOD wireless network each time you want to access the general desktop with your Android tablet. Follow the same procedure as you did at the beginning of this tutorial when you connected to the Gerge network for the first time. After the Citrix receiver client has been installed and to work around the unexpected response error, you will have to run an internet browser such as Firefox or Google Chrome. We recommend Google Chrome. Type in https colon forward slash forward slash stbcitrix.sun.ac.za in the search or type URL field of the browser. Tap the go button on the keyboard. This Citrix logon page will appear. Enter your username which is your student number and your network password and tap the logon button choose to save your password or not on Google Chrome. This page will appear. Click on the general desktop icon. Immediately a file ending with .ica will start to download and will briefly appear at the bottom of the browser window with an open button. Click on the open button. The normal welcome message will appear and after about 30 seconds the Citrix general desktop will open and a splash screen detailing the touch gestures will appear. This is the same desktop that you can access from the computers in Gerge. This completes the fourth step. Should you be unable to find the .ica file that was downloaded when you logged on to the STB Citrix webpage, then you can open up Google Chrome again and click on the settings icon donated by three dots on the top right corner of the browser. Select the Downloads item in the pop-up menu. Look for the file ending with .ica and open it up by double-clicking on it. This will open up the Citrix receiver client and load the Citrix general desktop. This concludes the tutorial. If you want to learn more about setting up Windows-based devices, click here. If you want to learn more about setting up Apple MacBooks, Click here. If you want to learn more about setting up Apple iPads, click here. If you have any questions or are unclear about some aspect of BYOD, please contact the Gerge personnel during office hours. We will be glad to help. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and spread the news about BYOD.